Chapter 4. Emperor Ming, rejoicing in the belief that Flash and his party have been destroyed, intercepts a radio message from Flash to his father, saying he has discovered Polarite, an antidote for the death dust with which Ming is bombarding the Earth. Ming, enraged and knowing his soldiers cannot survive the intense cold of Phrygia, sends Torch against the expedition with an army of mechanical men charged with explosives, which Torch can control and explode from his ship. Deep in the frozen wake, a walking bomb attacks the expedition and... <laughs> I don't know. All I could see was Iron Man. There was an explosive that knocked me out. Well, by the tracks, they've gone in that direction. Flash is dead. Killed in the explosion. You and the good doctor are on your way to the palace with Ming the Merciless. He's always wanted both of you. Pilot, get underway. Better destroy his Arkov ship first. No. It's too valuable to destroy. We have no pilot capable of flying it but myself. We'll return for it after we deliver our prisoners and collect our reward. Ronald, what happened? Where's Dale? The mechanical men got her. Zarkov and I tried to stop them and... They must have gotten Zarkov too. It's Ming's ship. They're carrying off Dale and Zarkov. Let's go after them in our ship. No, I can't do it. You're not going to let them run off with Dale? Dr. Zarkov? Ming will kill him. Yes, I know all that. And I love Dale and Sarkoff more than anyone can know. But there are only two lives. While on Earth, millions of people are facing death in the path of the Purple Plague, unless Ming is stopped. Now, I've got to take Polarite to the Earth first. Then I'll come back and settle with Ming. While the Purple Death still rages, there has been a marked abatement in the number of deaths. We believe this may be due to the activities of Professor Zarkov and my son Flash Gordon on the planet Mongo. Further news will be broadcast to you the moment it is received. We again beg you to remain calm in this crisis. There was no need to raise the hopes of the people without some scrap of proof. You have no foundation for your surmise that the drop in the death rate is due to anything but natural causes. What of it if it keeps up the morale of the crowd? Besides, the last word we heard from Flash was that they mean to put a stop to the Purple Death. 
And when Zarkov and Flash undertake a thing, I don't have to. Yes? The sun Flash is calling on the radio. Come quickly. Flash! Hello, Dad? Yes, we found large deposits of polarite in the kingdom of Phrygia, far north of Mongo. As you know, polarite particles attract and neutralize the death dust in the same manner that the human brain reacts upon it. We now have enough polarite to destroy all the death dust that men can turn loose. So, you wanted proof, did you, you old crab? Well, there you have it. Polarite. Loads of it. The salvation of the world. I'm going to drop the polarite at the top of Mount McKinley. You will attract all the death dust to that particular spot and destroy it. achievement, son. The world will be waiting to give you and Professor Zarkov the finest welcome in the history of mankind. No, Dad, I'm not coming back. Zarkov's not with me. No, he and Dale were taken prisoners by Ming. I don't know what's happened to them. Dale, my daughter, at the mercy of Ming? Polar rights unloaded. Good. Now we'll start back after Ming. Flying over for Gia. You're going to have a job getting into that rocket ship before you freeze to death. Look. The very ship we're looking for. Some of them must have survived. We've got to shoot them down. Spaceship diving at us. Fly over and I'll slow him down. No, we'll need that ship to get it me. I'm going to spin her down. Turn on the smoke screen so he'll think we're hit. Doesn't seem to be damaged much. Hardly at all. Fire escort. A lie. Broker, disarm them. Tie them up. What are you going to do? Take your ship into Ming's palace. Then you're going to give the password that opens the gates to the space court.
We have them all down here on us. He refused to accept the terms I offered him and must suffer the consequences. Look. You still have a few moments to reconsider your decision, Dr. Zarkov. The hands of the clock point to the eleventh hour. It will automatically release my destroying ray. I have made my decision, Ming, and you cannot alter it. You're determined to go through with this murder. At least let me join him down there. And lose the bride that I have waited for so long. sacrificing the Earthman to the destroying ray. We can see from the window that overlooks the arena. Yes, Charles and his own death. 